the Babylonian calendar is based on a lunar month. That is, each month begins on the new moon. And if you observe the moon, and I think you should, you will observe that the moon goes through phases. At the beginning of the cycle, it's a very thin crescent. Well, from your point of view, it's this way. Thin crescent right after sunset. And then every subsequent evening, it gets bigger and bigger. And then it appears as a half disk which is the end of the first quarter, and then on the 14th night of the cycle, it's a full moon, and you will notice that this is always the full moon on the night of the first Seder of Pesach, which is dated on the night of the full moon, and it is on the night of the first day of Sukkot, which is also on the 15th day of the month, which is the night of the 14th, so you follow that moon, you can tell what day it is on the Jewish calendar if you're interested. And then the moon reduces and goes into a different phase as it reduces to the third quarter, and then it disappears at what we call the new moon, when it doesn't appear in the sky anymore because it's on the same side as the sun. Now, that cycle is 29 and a half days. The moon cycle is 29 and a half days, but that's not practical. So what you do is you alternate 29-day month, 30-day month, 29-day month, 30-day month, and you go around 12 months like that. So you have 29 days alternating with 30-day months, and you wind up with 354 days. Uh, it's 11 days too short. It's too short for the solar cycle. Now, why is that important? Because the solar cycle is going to tell you when it's going to, when the rains will come, and it will also tell you when you should plant and when you should harvest. So you really need a solar cycle. But you're already fixed on the lunar month, and therefore your year is going to be 11 days short. So what you do is this. You add a month and you wind up three days short. So you're back to close to the solar cycle. Then you have another year. By this time you're 14 days short. Then another one, 25 days short. You add a month and the sixth year, you see you're only six days short. Still close. <laughs> then the next year, you have 6 plus 11, that's 17, 11, and 17, 28. You add a month, you're two days ahead. But the solar year has added two days in eight years. One day for every fourth year of the leap year. In eight-year cycles, they come out exactly even because the solar cycle has a day every fourth year, and the lunar cycle comes out two days ahead, which means equal to 28 plus 2. The solar calendar was done also by keeping a record of where the sun casts a shadow on a needle. You see, and once you get that record and you keep it, then you realize that the cycle of the sun is 365 and a quarter days until you realize it's not really, it's 365 days and 5 hours and 50 some minutes. But all of this requires observation, which they did. And they observed that and realized that the solar year is 365 and a quarter days. And they also knew that if you intercalate a month in the third and the sixth and the eighth year, you'll always come out equal to the solar year. So you'll never be too far off agriculturally. And therefore, the lunar solar calendar, it's not a purely lunar calendar, it's a lunar calendar adjusted to the solar cycle, always comes out correct. This was the Sumerian Babylonian calendar, which is the Jewish calendar. Of course, the Jews complicate things. So we added 
a seven-day week, which is invariable, and we added other restrictions such as Yom Kippur cannot be on a Friday or a Sunday, otherwise we'll have to fast two days in a row, and other things have to be done so the Jewish calendar is a variation on the Babylonian calendar because in the Jewish calendar we have the cycle of 3, 6, 8, 11, 14, um, 16, 19, and then the cycle is complete. So the Jewish calendar has a 19-year cycle, but it also adjusts this way periodically. And if you have a date on the Jewish calendar, and which corresponds to a date on the English calendar, let's say your birth date, was a certain date on the Christian calendar, which was a certain date on the Jewish calendar. That coincidence will happen every 19 years. The exact coincidence every 19 years. It'll be close in other periods, but the Jewish calendar is the Babylonian calendar with added modifications.